Friday, April the 25th, 1986. A beautiful spring day for the 43,000 inhabitants of Pripyat, a city in the Ukraine. A day which will forever remain engraved in their memory. Three kilometers from the city, the Vladimir Ilyich Lenin nuclear power plant, where several thousand of them go to work each day. That night, the 176 employees of block number four receive orders to test out a self-fueling system on the reactor, something that could save energy. At one hour, 23 minutes, the security systems are deactivated and the experiment begins. A series of detonations go off in the core of the reactor. While Pripyat is sleeping peacefully, the floor of the plant begins to tremble. The 1,200 ton cover of the reactor is suddenly blasted into the air. An ultra-powerful stream of radioactive vapor spews tons of uranium and graphite for hundreds of meters around. From the gaping hole, a spray of fire charged with gas and particles in fusion shoots a thousand meters up into the sky. Ну, такие кровавые, <laughs> больше, чем раду. The most serious nuclear accident in history has just taken place. Ночь, раннее утро, так скажем. Мне в пять часов утра позвонили. Позвонили, сказали, что произошла авария на Чернобыльской атомной станции. No one was prepared for such a situation. The first firemen on the scene battled with the fire with no special protective gear. They poured tons of water to no avail on this strange fire that nothing seemed capable of putting out. Two men died that night, and 28 in the next few months. They were the first victims of Chernobyl. For the next seven months, 500,000 men waged hand-to-hand -hand combat with this new invisible enemy. A ruthless battle that no one talked about. Thousands of lives sacrificed that history chose to forget. Yet it was thanks to these men that the worst was avoided. A second explosion, 10 times more powerful than Hiroshima, which would have wiped out half of Europe. This secret was kept 20 years by Soviets and the West alike. Most of these images have never been seen before. They were taken by journalists who also fell on the front of nuclear contamination. They tell the story of a hidden war, but also that of a huge lie whose consequences continued 20 years later to worsen the toll of the disaster. Here is the true story of the Battle of Chernobyl.